Hello everyone, my name is Florian. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Macherei Nagel. In our last video we showed you the unboxing and all the accessories which you will get when you order the PF12 Plus Compact Photometer. In today's video we will focus more on the photometer itself. I will show you everything which is needed from getting started to the first measurement result. So let's head right into it. Before we first start the photometer, we have to insert the batteries. For this, we turn the photometer on the back and open the battery compartment with the screwdriver, which is also part of the delivery. Once the battery compartment is open, we remove the battery holder and insert the included batteries. Once all four batteries are installed into the holder, we can reassemble the instrument in reverse order. When we have closed the battery compartment completely, we are ready to start. The photometer is started by simply pressing the on-off button in the upper right corner of the keypad. During the startup, valuable information like the software version and the parameter version are displayed. After you first started the photometer, you can enter the settings either by simply pressing the upwards key two times and confirm with OK, or by entering the method number 900. In the first entry, you can set the date and you could also choose between three different date formats. The next entry allows you to set the time and again you can choose between two time formats. The next important setting is the language setting which allows you to set the language of the photometer to either of the 14 languages which are included. Finally, but yet importantly, we want to enable the NTU check. This feature allows for the well-established NTU check of the Macherei Nagel photometers, now also available on a compact photometer such as the PF12+. To enable the NTU check, navigate to the box with the check mark and enter the NTU threshold. From now on, the photometer will warn the user when the pre-programmed NTU limit is reached within a measured sample. Other important features are the measurement range, the automatic reaction time or the auto-off function. But now let us measure our first sample. To enter the test menu, you could either choose from a list of tests or simply enter the test number in the home screen of the photometer. I already prepared and digested a sample of the COD1500 test, which is now ready to measure. For this, we enter the test number and give the cuvet a good clean from the outside. We then insert the sample into the cuvet slot and press M for the measurement. After a few seconds, the photometer will display all important information and also the concentration of the sample. That concludes our today's Get Started video. As you have seen, the PF12 Plus Compact Photometer allows you the easy and convenient measurement of visocolor and nanocolor test kits and that anywhere and on the go. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the small series on the PF12 Plus Compact Photometer and don't forget to, to like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any further questions, please contact us, links are in the description below.